We're publishing a paper that describes the first sauropod skull known from the Western Hemisphere for the Cretaceous period. So this new dinosaur, Abitosaurus macintoshi, it's a sauropod. Complete sauropod skulls are one of the rarest things you can find because their skulls, in addition to being small, they're very lightly built. Some of the bones on these things are, are just millimeters thick. This is the back side, the front. Here's the snout. His nostrils are right up here. This is where his, uh, his, his nose is, right here. These dinosaur skulls are found within Dinosaur National Monument, but not in the uh, area where they've been digging for a long time. It, it's interesting that there are no sauropod skulls for the entire Cretaceous in the Western Hemisphere that are complete like this. And here, in one spot, we find four of them closely associated. This quarry is no bigger than a good-sized living room. Sauropods are ones with the long necks, long tails, and elephant-like bodies with the pillar-like legs. The giants, the largest animals to ever walk the earth. And Abitosaurus isn't the largest. It probably stood about 8 to 10 feet high at the hips and was about 30 feet long. This is about the same size as the juvenile of Abitosaurus. It's always exciting naming a new dinosaur. We've got about 100 bones or so from the species so far, represented at least four individuals. You can almost not overemphasize how rare sauropod skulls are. And by having these treasures, these incredibly rare sauropod skulls, we're able to show uh, people some of the rarest of all dinosaur remains. It's really exciting to find, to, first of all, to find skulls and have the opportunity to work with complete skulls. It's, that, that's just fantastic. That's every paleontologist's dream that works on dinosaurs. BYU has one of the largest dinosaur collections uh, in the world. Uh, we've got uh, three different buildings that contain these bones. We've got, as I call it, the Costco of dinosaurs, right? And students get the chance to go out in the field with us to collect the materials, to work in the lab, and to work on describing these things with us.